how did a ball get in the Toy Hall of Fame? Well, oh, you, we're here. Hi, yeah. everyone. We're like, you're doing the same thing. When you think about it, you know, like, what is, what's what in the Toy is Hall of in Fame? Here? That's so, absolutely right. For you as a scientist, are these <clears throat> toys? Oh, sure. I, so uh, so the story kind of came out uh, the other day that uh, the Toy Hall of Fame, they're, they're looking at inductees. Considerations for this year, uh, hold on. Chalk, it's going to be a good one. Uh, uh, the eight ball, eight ball, the game Uno. The game Uno could be great. I looked at some other things. You know, one of the criteria has to be educational. Right. Chalk is educational, uh, and so I'm just thinking a pencil got in. Uh, we are looking at some other things. You can go to toyhalloffame.com and check it out, but I, I have to tell you, there has to be some science toys that are in there, and I have to highlight a good friend. A guy by the name of Craig Burnham invented this little toy, that he went on to sell millions and millions and millions of them, uh, and, and it's changing now because uh, soda bottles are changing, but I'll show you the genesis of the toy, okay? okay. So Kim, he, uh, take your bottle of water, so there's a bottle yes. of water there. So if you just take a two liter bottle from the okay. recycling uh, center and kind of fill it up uh, and then what I want you to do is put your hand on like this and the whole idea is how quickly can you dump the water out of the bottle <laughs> okay. but you can't squeeze the bottle right. so normally people would do this right That's not a good thing to do so what you do is you turn it upside down like this and you spin and when you spin and then you let go it creates this wonderful oh. vortex that's inside is that fun so you get kind of a little tornado in yeah. a bottle hey right, Kim I want you to try I know I'm, okay. I'm such a okay. right-handed person you can I have do it. to do you can it do this it. way spin it this way nice now, wait, spin. wait I'm okay, spinning nice spin. this okay, here we, yes Nice spin, nice spin, nice spin. Good, good, good. Now pull your hand out of the way. Well, okay, here, yeah. we, here we go. Okay, yeah, now that's, that's okay. I, you did, I Kim, did. you did a great job. I'm, I'm proud of you. Once yeah. again, once again, we <laughs> I, I remember I that. Know. Okay. Uh, I'm glad that the, uh, the phone is waterproof. Wow. Excellent. So here's yeah, what Craig yeah, thought. Sorry. Okay, I'm so sorry. sorry. The towel I is in the Toy Hall of Fame. <laughs> so, well, so, so our good friend by the name of Craig Burnham, Salem, Massachusetts, came out with this toy, I think 1987, called the Tornado Tube. Right. This was a plastic connector that he came up with when he was about eight or ten years Years old. He didn't come up with this idea, but he thought of the idea of hooking two bottles together sure. and making like a, 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 an hourglass of yes. some kind. Well, uh, one thing led to another, and he comes up with this toy here. So look at what he did. So, Tom, you can hang on to this. Kim, you're going to love this because this no, now is don't sealed. Make me do anything it's sealed. Else. Okay, it's sealed. Be right. sealed. So now, right. there you go. Hang on there. So, All Tom, right. when you turn this guy upside okay. down, of course, kids like to put stuff in there, but as you spin this like this, and now you hang on to it, take a look there. You get this wonderful vortex that's in there, and so the water goes from bottle to bottle which is kind of fun over the years uh, Craig Burnham uh, there wasn't a classroom that didn't have a right. tornado tube that tube. was inside and what a wonderful way to be able to talk about uh, creativity and collaboration and community all these wonderful things that are there we did a contest years ago at Regis University here in Denver we gave kids tornado tubes thanks to Craig Burnham and said come up with the most crazy things that you could do with them a little girl came up with the idea of putting soap inside because she wanted to see how the air goes up watch that Kim beautiful yeah. Look at this. Oh. As the air goes up, the water flows down, down, and you get to see the transfer of air and water, which I thought was great. Over the years, we've seen here. I'll trade you, Kip. Look at this one. Over the years, we've seen Again, this crazy things. Okay, so look at you. this. There oh. are there are those little uh, styrofoam beads that are sitting inside, and then maybe my favorite one of all. They had 300 different things to be able to do with a tornado too, but it's truly one of those toys that was great. And now look at this. I'm using lamp oil inside this one. So here's our lamp oil. So the lamp oil is lighter uh, or less dense than the water that right. uh, is around it. And so now watch what happens. When you just use the lamp oil, turn it upside down, watch what happens when you spin. You could define now just the vortex yes. inside. <gasps> Pretty fun. Here is a toy that became a tool that unlocked this creativity and critical so thinking win. with kids. So we'll, we'll get it in the Hall of Fame here sometime and we'll put that in. But anybody who wants to go and see what the nominees are, this year and kind of play with that. You have to go to toyhalloffame.com and take a look at what's in. You can vote for your favorites and I'm, I'm looking for a science toy. Craig Burnham kind of changed science education in terms of science toys and that's the guy to do it. That's it for Viscosity this week. Thank you very much. Steve, <laughs> thanks as always. Next week we'll be shooting ping pong balls. Viscosity, <laughs> Viscosity, V-words. Nice job. <laughs>